Hello and welcome back. In the last video we looked at just how easy it is to take an existing template and transform it to our needs. This time we will demonstrate how you can take pre-made components and create a more customized template. We began right where we left off in a blank DGN file with a template editor open. The first thing we're going to do is take a look at the dynamic settings dialog. You can find that right here at the bottom of the menu bar here. You'll notice in the upper left hand corner the current coordinates are shown. Just to the right of that is the step settings. It's best to think of this as sort of a gridlock. You'll notice as we work in the template the cursor snapping to a grid. Let's go ahead and set that to point 1 now if it isn't set already. And I just hit tab there to switch between the fields. Below that is the point name and style settings and we'll look at those in more detail in a later course when we're creating our own components. We will use the apply a fixes toggle a little later but for now make sure this is toggled off. Below that is an area where you can enter precision key in. There's a drop down list that has several options and you simply key in the values in to the right. And finally the set dynamic origin button simply said if you want to change the origin go ahead and use this but otherwise it's best to forget that that button's even there. Okay, now if you take a second to browse through the components list here, you will notice many common engineering elements are already created for you. If you're having to create a library from scratch, this is a great resource to get you started. For now, we're going to walk through how to take several of those components and make a compound component that we will use to create our own custom template. To do that, just right click on the templates folder here, select new, template, and we're going to call it a two-lane urban and I'm going to put a hyphen right in here. Okay. Once we had that, we're going to go up here and grab some pre-made components and create our template. So let's go up under pavement, concrete, and I'm going to expand this just a little bit. And we're going to start out with pavement concrete surface. Now this is the area where you happy clickers might get yourself into problems. You'll notice I just single clicked there and to verify that we have a red icon around our two lane urban right and the pavement concrete surface icon is highlighted in gray. You'll notice that that is reflected down here in the preview window. Speaking of that, you'll notice this green box around the point there. That is the origin point, so when I drag this component over, that's the point that's going to be attached to our cursor. If you need to change that component, it's a simple matter to come down here into the preview box and click that new point. Okay, so let's get started. Again, I want to grab that component point and drag it into my template. So I'm going to simply click the data button, or the left mouse button, and hold it and then drag that component over and you can see how it's attached to my mouse. Now I'm continuing to hold that mouse button and now you can see those components down here in our upper left hand corner of our dynamic settings. What we want is those values to read 0, 0. Once they do that you can go ahead and release the mouse button and that component then is transferred into our template. I'm going to do a quick fit view here just to clean up the view. All right, that looks good. Our component starts off at 0, 0, right where we want it to. Next, we will add an aggregate layer to our pavement. Let's choose aggregate A. Now, we're going to add this aggregate A, and this time when we bring our points over, we want those points to merge up. And you'll notice what happens as I get close to that bottom of that concrete, my icon changes color. Now I have my background color inverted for training purposes, but you should see your X bold, your little point there bold, and then turn white. Once you see that, you know that those two points are merged. So go ahead and release the mouse button. And again, I'm just going to fit our template to the view there. Okay, that looks really good. Now what we're going to do is add some pavement sub base. So I'm going to grab the pavement concrete subgrade here. 
just like I did with the other components, drag it over, wait for the templates to merge or lock into place, and then release the mouse button. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now let's add some shoulder. So I'm going to click the shoulder. I want a concrete shoulder. And I'm going to select the surface concrete. And let's bring that over to the edge of pavement point. So just like we did before, single click and drag. I'm going to continue to hold that data button and drop it into place when I see those two merge. And finally, we're going to need some sub base for our shoulder. Now this might be a little tricky, so I might zoom in. You can hold, as long as you hold that mouse button down, you can roll your wheel and zoom in a little bit and make sure that that point locks into the bottom of the concrete shoulder. And then I'm going to do a fit view. Okay, great job. We're finished with our first template for now. This is a nice starting point for templates we might create in our project template libraries. In the next video, we will talk more about libraries and how to manage them. See you there. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.